Obviously we have Mr. Bailey today and we are going to work our obedience basics routine so is that we can reintegrate him into the home and uh, maximize our training opportunities. The very first exercise we're going to do today is called the right hand box heel. Very simply we have uh, Bailey offset to our left in a parallel left situation and we have our lead and our slip collar on. I'm going to take a cookie out, I'm going to make him aware of it, present the lead and step off with the left foot. Bailey, heel. At that point we're going to start to walk forward and turn. Heel. Good. If uh, obviously Bailey goes to the cameraman, he will receive a correction so long as your feet keep moving. Heel. Good, 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 good boy. There's a success. So he's going to balance that failure versus that success or learning what it is to heal. Good boy. Beside us. We're going to work this in a two lap, three repetition pattern. So there's number one. Each and every time, we're going to step off with the left in a target sound and we're going to step and turn. We're not really concerned so much about where the puppy is at in the turn because the leash and the footwork are going to do everything for us. Good boy. And notice what's going to happen. Heel. So we're going to step and turn here. The dog's nose is going to follow. Good boy. We're going to finish rep two and reward. Good boy. Our third and final dog is going to in inverse order. Good. Weigh the competing alternatives. Heel. Good boy. Looking at that camera. What a good boy. Stepping and turning. Ladies and gentlemen, you get on your right toe, swing your left. That's all the athleticism we need. Step, turn, target sound, praise. Good boy. Finishing in three, two, one, cessation of the tap, addition of the signal, and that's our three right hand box heels. Good boy. That's going to set up pack membership for us. And always release your dog when we're at the end of the third rep with all through, all through, shake the lead, pet, and we're done. Good morning. And so here we are. We were looking for our second exercise. This is going to be called the left hand box heel. This is going to present um, a rake order within the uh, within the heel function, and it's going to very naturally allow me to pull some very subtle rank and keep our puppy from forging. Bailey heel. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk forward, and we're going to step and turn interior to the dog. Good. 90 degrees. Step turn. Good boy. Let's heel. And so we're going to be very deliberate. Notice that he's right beside us. Good boy. And he's got good pace. We'll actually watch the shoulder joints. Good boy. And at some point, what should more or less happen is, is the guy will get out of position. He'll get bumped, which Bailey never liked in his process. Good boy. And then all of a sudden we can use that good to mitigate any forward movement um, out of the heel plane. Let's go, brother. He's checking, make sure he didn't pee on him. That's how things work there. Good job. All right. Making sure there's no pheromones he's emitting while Mr. Greg pulled rank on him with the left hand turn. Second repetition. Bailey, ready? We're going to peel out of here. Heel. A step through. And a more delivery. Heel. We're going to go expansion. Good. Of the lengths of my rectangle. Let's go. Hope we present pain. I'll stay in pace with you. Good. All the way back to the house. Leave. Leave. Notice I keep moving as I correct. Good boy. No matter what, you got to keep moving in your box heels. Finish the second rep. I was able to communicate that he doesn't sniff the ground on that rep. So there's our quote unquote negative. We got a positive, a negative. Competing alternative on three. Heel. And we'll measure here. If the dog does well, then we're going to quit, progress to the next lesson. So long as he's parallel left. Good, good, good. That's a good boy. And it gives us plenty of clearance to turn. Good. Let's heal. Good job. Good boy. That's my buddy. Good job, Bailey. Yes, sir.
And so that is our left hand box seal. We need two laps, three repetitions per. At that point, we'll have a very nice seal plane. Everything's predicated out of motion. Do your reps with Bailey. And we're moving on to our third lesson. What we had to do is we had to take our guy and we had to show him that right hand box seals was going to teach him pack membership. And then our left hand box seal was going to rank order our pack. And you're like, oh wow, why did we do that? Well, we did that for this third lesson, the most important piece for this particular dog. So what I want to do is take him and send him forward. You ready? Good. Good boy. Good to go do his introduction. Friend, left foot, send away. He gets a cookie and a pet. And then we're going to call him away. Bailey, leave. Heel, boy, got body. Back to the finish. Good dog. That's what I want on one. This is how we're gonna socialize this guy and make him so confident in his own skin. Are you ready, Bailey? Friend. Excellent. We're just tactile. Note we got a little lean, but that's okay because he gets some love. And then we're gonna call him away. Bailey, leave. Good boy, heel. Good job, Bailey. Woo, you looking sharp today, brother. Good job. Gonna reward my dog. And then I'm gonna send him out with the left again. And here in a little bit, we're gonna show you how to put this in real life out of drill. Ready? Friend, three times. Praise pet cookies, all the love in the world. Back away from Bailey. Leave. Heel. Nice one piece. Good boy. Textbook. What a good dog. Whew. Gonna give him a little reward on the flip side. Three repetitions per and then substitute every person you could get to be that friend for this dog. After he proves that he will do this repetition with people he is used to, i.e. family members and or neighbors. All right, good deal. We're gonna run a friend's knee field sequence with some new folks and we have uh, some great training partners. All right, he loves his people. It's ready, friend. So we go up, he gets a little bit of love and attention. Notice I'm gonna correct the jump leg. Good boy. Good, right back to the finish. Again, we're gonna do three each and every time. Ready? So there's one, and it had just a little dab of cor uh, correction in it. So what we're hoping is we're going to get a perfect rep this time. Ready? Friend? Hi, baby. Hello, Tasty. We Nice. Two, three. Now kisses. And heal. So that's going to be very critical for our guy. We're working on off with the adults. Right now with his new little friend, he is wanting to give her kisses. And so we're trying to avoid the cries and all that stuff for our human interaction too. That's why we're correcting the jump. Third and final, friend. Good boy. Nice He's like, who's got my who got my team spin? Hello. Oh boy. Oh, good boy. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, sir. You got a friend there. All right, Bailey. Leave and heal. Good boy. Good boy. Good job, brother. All through. All right, so on exercise four, what are we going to do? We're going to do a location down stay inside the den. And what I'm going to do is give my sweet little thing maybe a little bit of a morsel. Okay. All right. And so what I want to be able to do is feed the baby, not feed the dog at this point. So I'm going to use the location stay for the point snap, content in place. Good boy. We're going to go through a, se a sequence where we show the back of the hand and we're going to wait him out. Good boy, you can do this. Good boy. We're going to relinquish the cookie as soon as that shoulder joint roll, rolls. I'm going to flash a signal. Good. From the remaining to the on the corona. Good. And he's tracing out. Did you see that? He sniffed his leash. He traced it out. And he was going to tell me I will jump off of this bed. But what did I do? My counter was to show him that I'm capable of impeding his progress. I'm going to give a signal and give a little light uh, one time there and one time there. Good. I'm going to return to him. I'm going to release with 
Off here, baby. Good. All right, Lily, will you shake her Teddy Graham bag for me right. so we can do our second repetition? All right, so baby girl's ready. She said, like, oh, that dog is gonna get in this place. I'm gonna go sit with it. Ready? Second rep. Good, there's our bag rattle. No worries. I'm going to, again, show the, book, the back of the hand. I'm gonna weight him out just a little bit. It's a tough angle. I'm gonna go one more time. Notice I'm gonna bump the shoulder. Ha <laughs> ha! Good boy. And weight again. In towards the chest. Rotate. And he's just waiting. Come on, brother. You got this. He acquiesces. I reward. I give signal. And I back away. And I give signal. Good. I'm gonna get him conditioned to. Basically hold his place while we have her red girl and notice how much she wants to come out as soon as we exert control over the dog and the baby is ready to move about and come pet that dog. Mm. So at some point the child has to be educated, leave the dog alone when it's in its place. But those are the lessons that we will be learning. We're going to return to our guy. We're going to release him all through. Perfect rep, brother. Good job. That's a good job. Third and final, right now, on our fourth repetition of the day. Good boy. Or excuse me, fourth lesson of the day. Going to tap, tap, tap. Not guy's nose is so good, he knows there's no cheese cracker there. Oh my goodness. That's okay. That's okay. I'm going to give another signal. Good. As soon as he does, get those a submissive paw. That's that flop you saw. I'm going to give a reward signal. Sit and signal. And so at this point now, our dog is basically comfortable because he's displaced. He's in a location downstate. It's going to help separation anxiety. It's going to help orientation. That's excellent. Look, look at mama teaching. Look at mama teaching. Now we got to stare at Mister. No. No. And he looked right at my eyeball and right at my hand and he ignored it. But that's okay because we're going to learn in place. Good. Signal, event, signal. And then we're back into basically watching his little shoulder joint and holding him accountable for his stay piece. Now, as we teach, we want to make sure that we are enforcing the vertical line here with the shoulder joint, and that's when correction would occur. I want to remind you that we can extend a muscle reflex by giving a signal on a light tug, and all I'm doing there is saying S-T-A-Y, and this will begin to help with our separation anxiety as well. If you hear and listen, we had just a little bit of wine and you can note on the clock how when that occurs and if you basically take it above and beyond by about 15 seconds with each successive rep, it'll stop whining and crying. But we want to hear that as evidence, but we don't care again if he's seated, laying down, checking his email, what he wants to do so long as he's in the area and displaced from the handler. And that will get all the topic that we want. Thank you. Oh, is that good? Is that good? That is very good. Good job. This in and through. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, sir. You ready? Yep. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I've got a whistle and we've got Bailey out with Denali. And uh, they're just more or less engaged in normal dog behavior. I'm gonna run around. I catch a, a scent of something. I think he's about to poop, actually. Uh, but what we want to do, there we go, is give him an opportunity to get this place from the handler. And we have taken the whistle on a pitch of three, low, high, low, and we have begun to call him at a distance. This is great for if we have a big enclosed area where he's nice and safe. Um, the condition. So he's finished pooping, he's uh, prancing, and here we go. Good boy, good boy, good boy! That's a good boy. <laughs> I know you love it. Good, and then, yes, good boy. So it's just an extension of, of Pavlov's whistle. We're going to do two more for you uh, real quick just to kind of show you where it's at. That's our play bow. We love our play bow. Goodness gracious. He's come a long way. We're gonna call him out of his full play trot here in just a second. Good boy. 
Me for jumping strategies off of this. Good. But first, we got to get the impulse with the handler. And we're we'll going to third final as soon as it gets 20 foot away from me or so. As soon as I get it 20 foot of place or so. job off good show you some good dog so we got that piece of it i'll show you jumping strategies as we as we meet uh pair the one thing we need to do with the whistle is pair the uh, one piece finish that's typically in advance but he's come a long way uh we integrate these skills uh secondary stuff will come uh as far as precision and we really want to thank you for uh our time with bailey and we hope to see this booger Again, very, very soon.